Roosevelt. I'm from the Eindhoven University of Technology. I recently graduated and now working as a food and concept designer. I'm here at the Design Week presenting my project called Edible Growth, which explores how 3D printing could transform the food industry. Edible Growth is about 3D printing with living organisms. You print a structure of seeds and spores and yeast and from there on it will develop in three to five days to a fully grown edible. As it comes out of the 3D printer you can really see the straight lines of the technologies and as it develops you can see the organic shape. So by transforming appearance you can see the stages of growth and the development of taste and flavor. By 3D printing food, you can make the production chain or the food chain very short. The transport will be less, there is less land needed, but it's also you can experiment with new structures. So you can surprise the consumer with new food and things which hasn't been done before. I think it will take at least 8 to 10 years before this can be on the market because they really have to develop the technologies much further. A lot of people think if products are produced by industrialized production methods it's unnatural or unhealthy and I want to show that it doesn't have to be the case because you can really see that it's natural and it doesn't contain any preservatives because it doesn't need to be stored or anything. So it will contain everything you need inside, so it's actually really healthy and um, uh, sustainable also at the same time.